good in spite of the change of weather, in spite of the different kinds of diseases that we that is inflicted to us. But I know and I do believe we have a great God who always protect us in all in all and our our iniquities and in all the diseases that is already going on going around in this place. Okay. Now, before anything else, I would like to apologize because I would like, again, to request everyone to please rise as we give reverence to the Word of God. Okay. Now, the Word of God that I would like to share to you comes from Psalm 106, verse 7 to 12, NIV version. As Join me in reading the Word of God. Let's go together. Ready? One, two, three. When our fathers and sisters were in Egypt, they give no thought. To your miracles. They did not remember many kindness. They revealed by the sea, the Red Sea. Yet he saved them for his name's sake to make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea and it dried up. He led them through the depths of us through the desert. And he saved them from the hand of the foe, from the hand of the enemy. He redeemed them. The waters covered their adversaries. Not one of them survived. Then they believed his promises and sang his praises. Let's give glory to the word of the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, can I have the first slide, please? The one with the red mark. Okay. Now, my topic for tonight is, as you can see, there is already a highlight toward uh, Red Sea. Okay. The title of my sharing is all about crossing the Red Sea led to freedom. I got the title from the verse 9 saying, he rebuked, he rebuked the sea and it dried up and he led them through the depth as through a desert. Okay? So crossing the Red Sea led to freedom. Now, remember this in the history Parting the Red Sea is considered as the most memorable, considered as the most significant, and at the same time, it is the most celebrated God miracle, miracle until today, okay? Now, Red Sea symbolizes something to the people. That's why they are celebrating this great miracle that the Lord has done to the life of the Israelites, okay? Now, the word, the Red Sea comes from the meaning, the sea of reeds, okay? Now, I would like to show you the picture. Can you have the next slide, please? Okay. Now, this is why Red Sea before it is called the sea of reeds, okay? Now, because there is a plant known as reeds that growing in the sea, okay? See that one? Now, once this plant matured, they become red, and it color the area, okay? That flower or that plant is called reeds. That's why it calls the sea of reeds. And on the latter part, it is called red sea, okay? So that is the reason why they called red sea, okay? Now, I would like to ask a question. All of us has red sea in life, okay? Okay? I don't know what are you feeling right now, but I know and I do believe each and every one have the Red Sea. Now, if we could be able to go across that Red Sea, you will be able to experience the greatness and the freedom. Freedom in, freedom in a sense that you may be able to experience peace. You may be able to experience joy, gladness. As though in spite of the heavy or in spite of the problem that you encounter, it is okay. In spite na, in Tagalog, wala kang pera, basta may gasolina ka, okay lang. Okay? So that is the feeling if you have that, if you go through the Red Sea. Okay? Now, iba-iba ang Red Sea natin, but the thing is, I have a question to each and every one. Why we are here in Canada, why we did not stay in our country of birth, Philippines, okay? Some of the elders, ganito yon, 
Okay? Some of you, some of our relatives are not Christians. Some are Catholic, right? Okay. Now, in our ancestors, ang sabi ng ating ancestors, okay, um, ikpinanganak ka sa katoliko, mamamatay ka rin ng katoliko. Okay? So, that is the term. And I always heard that from my mom. Okay? We are brought up in a Catholic, and of course, you're gonna die as a Catholic. Okay? Now, of course, if it is elder, we cannot counteract. We cannot reason because being a Filipino, we raised in a Filo, Filipino culture, bawal tayong sumagot. Okay? We respect. Okay? But my point is, as you grow up, you have a plan. Pag nakatapos ako, kailangan makaalis ako sa bahay na to. Kailangan makaalis ako sa lugar na to. I want to show something. That what? Being me, I could make it. Okay, so that is the plan. Now, in that plan, of course, there is a contradiction. Okay? Lalo na the elders. That's why the elders are saying that, why you want to go to Canada? Why not just stay in the Philippines? You are doing good in here. Why go there? Okay? Why? Because you want to have freedom. You want to make something big, you want to make something different in your life. Okay? Ang tanong na nandito ba tayo, did we make a difference in our life? Ako, sasagutin ko yung tanong na yes, when I encounter God, it makes a great difference in our life. And all of you had what? Make a difference in your life because what? You are here today. Because if you're not here, then there's no difference, right? It's still the same, okay? So as though you did not, what? You did not when, you did not remove, or you did not remove your, pla- your spot or your place or yourself from Philippines. Because we are still the same. But what you did before in the Philippines is the same as what we are doing here right now, okay? Sometimes we spend a lot of time here in the church than your home. Okay? And of course, at the end of the day, sabi ng asawa mo, hindi tayo nakapaglaba, hindi tayo nakapagplan siya, hindi tayo nakapaglis ang bahay. But, do you feel bad? No. Because that is the freedom. Now we're in, in spite of the labaming labahan, in spite of the daming hugasan, you have peace. There is joy in you. That is the freedom that the Lord is doing in our life. Okay? So we make a difference. Now, when we say the word or we encounter the word Red Sea, what does it remind us? Red Sea reminds us of who we are and what God make a difference in our life. Okay? The Red Sea sometimes okay, remind us our faith. And sometimes also, it reminds us of our failure. Okay? That, if we were not able to go through then there is failure. But if we go through, you have the freedom. That is victory. Okay? But the only problem with us is that sometimes we just remember what the Lord has done in our life when we are in trouble. Okay? That's the only time that we remember. But the thing is, what is the significance of Red Sea in our life? significance of Red Sea in the life of the chosen people of God. Okay, now number one, the significance of Red Sea in our life or the life of the people is that God committed, promised to us that He will lead us to freedom. So there is what? There is God commitment, okay? We're in that commitment maybe in a sense, in a form of what? Free us from the yoke of slavery. Okay. The commitment of the Lord is that He's going to free us from a relationship that we're in that give us trouble. The relationship or the commitment of the Lord is that He wants to free us, okay, from anything that hinders our victory. So you see, that is His commitment. That is His promise to us. 
Now, one of his commitments to the Israelites and even to us is we, he wants us to be free from slavery. Okay, in Leviticus 26, 13, it says there, Okay, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt so that you would no longer be slaves to the Egypt, to the Egyptians. And I broke the bars of your yoke and enabled you to walk with heads held, held high. So what does the Lord want us to do? His commitment and his promises is that he wants to free us from the yoke of slavery. Because the Israelites, how many years did they spend in, the, in Egypt? They spent 400 years. Okay? Tayo, how many years did we spend in Spanish? 333. 333. Okay? So, how many generations were in the Israelites produced in Egypt? It is 8 to 10 generation. But during that time... If we go back to the history of Israelites, they forgot the great miracle that the Lord has done. Because who brought Israelites in Egypt? They were there because there was a famine. And who make Egypt rich? Joseph. And people or Egyptians forget what Joseph has done to their country. For them, Israelites are what? threat to the Egyptian. So that's why as the Egyptian already using the Israelites as slave to build what? To build their pyramid. To build everything. Of course, their building means to say their infrastructure. The Israelites are the one doing it. Okay? But the Egyptian did not remember how they become rich during the life or the time of Joseph. And even Israelites forget to what? To pass the good things that the Lord has done to them. Kaya what? They forgot. But what happened? When they feel that they, what? They cannot take over the slavery of the Egyptian, they cried out to the Lord because they what want? They want freedom. Okay. Okay, if we go back in our verse, okay, 106, it says there, okay, can I have the verse in the first slide? Okay, it says there, you, you used the word uh, in eight, the, the word yet, okay? The reason why I put red, it's because, see, the Israelites are clamoring that they want freedom, okay? But they forget what the Lord has done. But because of that, the Lord says, yet he saved them for his name's sake. See? Kahit gaano kasama ng Israelites na wherein they forgot to serve God, still, because of the love of God, he make a way for them to be free from the hands of the Egyptian. Okay? So he said, yet, he saved them for his name's sake, to make his name mighty and to make his mighty power known. Okay. Now, balik tayo doon. So, when we say we are free from the yoke of slavery, okay. Now, when we say the yoke, uh, sabi kanina ni ano, pamato. Okay. So, the, the cow or the kalabaw in our, in our country, uh, the pamato, the one that gave it here. Ama? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so there are two because what? It, it prevents the other animal to go astray. So it guides them in their farming. So what does it mean also in our life? That in our life, we have that yoke of slavery. Now we're in, we cannot get out. Okay, each and every one of us, meron tayong mga attitude, meron tayong mga gusto na we're in, hindi natin matanggal. Okay. Uh, kanina sinabi ko na ako talaga my yoke or my yoke of slavery is addict talaga ako sa pocketbook. Totoo yan. Kahit buksan nyo yung cellphone ko, lahat ng cellphone ko, 
puno ng pocketbook yan. Okay? So I was trying really to remove that one. It's been years I've been saying that. But good thing now, isang pocketbook, isang linggo na hindi na isang araw. I mean, that, that is true. Okay? I'd rather not to eat, not to sleep, as long as I could finish the book. It is true. Sometimes natutulog ako ng 4 o'clock, basta nagbabasa ako ng pocketbook. Totoo yan. In, in the, walang, walang biro yan. But the point is, if you want to change to have freedom, okay, ngayon yung ang iPad ko titingnan nyo, mga ano na, Christian book na siya, kung mga, there's some changes. So I see, but then it is a process of changing. Each and every one of us also, we have that kind of attitude that we're in, we love to do this, we love to do that. Uh, sorry for the word, but I am fan of going to the bathroom, nothing to do, just sit on the bowl with a book. Kahit two hours ako dyan, it's okay. So, so I, I have to remove that kind of, uh, just a step, it's true. Yeah. So that is, that is the one, that is, that, that is what I am saying, that we have to remove that yoke of slavery from us. Okay? I don't know what is in you, but then, I know and I do believe, meron kayong mga ganyang uh, tinatagong mga, hindi ko lang kung attitude, kung character Now we're in, we need to change. Okay, we need to improve. Kasi ang sabi ng Lord is that, it is okay na magbabad tayo as long as we praise God. Because what? God created us to be a slave of God. The slave of righteousness. Not the slave of sin. Okay, now, so aside from this, God is committed to what? To free us from the hand of Pharaoh. Okay. Remember this, how many plagues did God brought in Egypt? The plagues. Uh, ano bang sa Tagalog ang plague? Or, or plagues? Dinub, ah, tama, dinubyo? Dilubyo? Ah, whatever it is, okay? Okay, how many? How many? How many plagues? Ten, right? The first nine, using the rod that the Lord gave to Moses, the last, it was the Lord who gave the plague. And that is what? The death. Okay, the death of the firstborn. But then, I tell you, there is another one. And that is, if you're going to see Exodus 15, 19, it says there, when the horses of Pharaoh and his chariots and his horsemen went to the sea, the Lord brought back water to the sea upon them, and the people of Israelite walked to the dry ground, but the people of Egypt, what happened? They drowned. They drowned. So you see, when they wake up in the morning, when in the morning comes, people of, or Israelites saw the dead body of the Israelites. How many chariots? That was the best chariots of the Pharaoh. 600. Walayon. Even the Pharaoh died during that time. So you see, the Lord will gonna bring us, okay, even if we are not abiding his what? His law. Okay, so he is there for us. All we need to do is just to call upon him. So that is the 11 plagues that he did. Because what happened? When the people left of Israel, uh, when the Israelites left in Egypt, ano nangyari sa Egyptian? Di ba they become poor? Bakit? Because the Israelites looted them. Lahat ng kanilang, what? Riches, it was brought out of Egypt. And I think, sabi nga ni Step, maybe Egypt is cursed. Because who was the one who built the pyramid? The Israelites. And what is the Egyptian did to them? They become their slave. Okay? So even until now, Egypt is still poor. Nawala yung kanilang kayamanan. What? Because that is the payment of what the, they do okay? during the time when they are under the Egyptian ruler. Okay? And the other one, God is committed also for us to be delivered. Okay? To be delivered from our sins. In 1 Corinthians 10, 1 and 2, it says there, For I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea. 
And all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. What does it mean? It means to say when the people pass through that water, okay, that is their freedom. So it means to say, it says there that they were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. That is the deliverance of the Israelites, okay? Now, this is the type of baptism we're in. God saved them from the enemy, from the death, and freed them from the slavery of sin. Okay, remember this, that in spite of the unbelief of the Israelites, still God delivered them away from the Israelites. Okay? For God, remember this, there is no big obstacle was for God. As long as we, what, we believe in him, he could move mountains for us. And all of you experience the goodness that the Lord has done for each and everyone's life. Okay? Even to me, I experience all this, all the greatness that the Lord has done for us. Okay? Now, another significant of the sea in our life is that God works for his glory and our salvation. What does it mean? Okay, in Exodus 14, 4, the Lord says, I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will pursue them. I will get the glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord and they did so. Okay, Ephesians 3, 20. Now all the glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work with us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Okay, now take note of this. Before God gets his glory, we need to overcome our Red Sea. Okay, back it. in Tagalog. Okay, we cannot see the glory of God, okay, if we will not overcome what is our trials? Kung ano yung problema natin, we need to overcome bucket. Because as you overcome, as you go through, the Lord is there all the way with you. Okay? He is there all the way with you. So once no overcome mo, you see the glory of God. Okay? You see His glory. Okay? Now take note that, okay, when the people saw that all the Egyptians' army died or lying dead on the shore, what happened? They returned to God. They praised the Lord. So you see, dun lang, dun lang sila ulit bumalik. Tayo kaya, pag nagkamali tayo, babalik ba tayo kaagad? We should. Bakit? Because we don't let the sin what? Grow big and big in us. Because once it is big, it is very hard for us to eradicate. It is very hard for us to remove. Kasi bakit? Nakakalimutan mo na. Kaya hindi nagbe-breakthrough. Ang blessings ng Lord, kasi bakit? We forgot something to ask for forgiveness. Kasi bakit? Nakabaon na siya. Huwag nating hayaan mag -rusty. Okay? Kasi mahirap tanggalin ang rust. Okay? So, now... In Philippians 2, 10, 11, okay, when I say that the Lord works for his glory, okay, now when people saw that the Egyptian died, people returned to God. What did they do? Knees bow down, okay, in heaven. And at the same time, every tongue confess that the Lord Jesus Christ is great God. So you see, nang nakita nilang maraming namatay, namatay lahat ang mga Egyptian, doon lang nila na-realize na He is a great God. And they give praise to Him. So I say that, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Wag nating hayaan na we're in, okay? Okay, it takes time for us to confess and at the same time to ask God's forgiveness. Wag nating hayaan yon. Why? Because you are here today. Let the Holy Spirit work in your life. 
so that when the Holy Spirit works in our life, we have the law of righteousness. And the law of sin is what? Is going deeper and deeper until it will be removed from us. Kasi bakit? Nangingibabaw na yung law of righteousness. And with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now, another significant of Red Sea in our life is that Red Sea represent faith and failure. So this is the test of faith and the test whether we are we're going to go failed or not. Let's go back the history of Israelites. Exodus 13, 17 and 18. It says there, when Pharaoh finally let go of the people, God did not let them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to the promised land. Okay, If the people face with a battle, they might change their mind and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward Red Sea. So that is the reason why nakaabot sila doon sa Red Sea. Take note, na nakaabot sila sa Red Sea, there is no way out. Okay? Unless, ano, sasalubungin nila yung Egyptian. Okay? There is no way out. Okay? Thus, take note of this word. The Israelite left Egypt, okay, like an army ready for battle. Pero bakit sabi ng Lord, okay, do not follow the shortest way, go around. And doon sila napunta sa Red Sea. I will show you the map, how they went to that Red Sea. Can I have that please? Okay. Okay, that is Egypt on your right side, okay? At the end, that is Goshen, where the Israelites was placed during the time of famine. Yan ang kanyang lugar. That, uh, that place in Goshen, that is where the Israelite is. Okay? When Pharaoh allowed them to be out of Egypt, okay, from Sokoth, okay, they go. Look on the other way, the way of Philistine. That is the shortest way going to Canaan. Okay? That is the shortest way. Lord want them to turn around and go to this place in Ethan, okay? And that is where they are crossing, okay? Now, it is the Gulf of Agaba, okay? Meron siyang line, okay? That's it. That is where they, they travel, okay? Now, in the next slide, the distance between that place is 16 kilometer. Parang twice ang pumunta ng West End. Okay? Tama ba? Ayan. Twice ang pumunta ng West End. Kasi from here to West End is 6 kilometer. 6. So 16 ito. So punta ka ng mga twice. Twice and half. Ayan. 16 siya. The distance. Okay? So from there, they traveled. Ayan. Okay. Now. Okay. So. Why I say that Red Sea represents faith and failure, okay? Bucket, because when the Lord asked them to turn and go to the Red Sea, okay? Habang naglalakad sila, nakita nila na maaabutan sila ng Egyptian, okay? So what happened? Remember, when they went out to Egypt, they are ready for battle. Yun ang sabi. They are ready for battle. But then, bakit din nila sila ng Lord? Instead of going to Philistine, a short way, but they have to turn around going to Red Sea. Ang Lord ang nakakaalam when is the right time. Okay? And the Lord knows that the people of Israel is not ready to go war with the Philistine. Bakit? They will slave for how many years? They were not trained to what? To do battle. Okay? So pag pumunta sila doon, mamamatay lang din sila. That's why the Lord turned them. And of course, the Lord want to what? To show to them one more time His glory. Okay? So therefore, okay, when the people saw the, Israel, the Egyptian, ano nangyari? Nagalit sila kay Moses. 
Sabi nila kay Moses, bakit kinuha-kuha mo ka ba kami sa Egypt? Sana doon na lang kami. Mag-serve na lang kami. Pero hindi nila sinabi yun. What? They prayed to God for them to be, what? Free from the bondage. Hindi sila nagsabi kay Moses na, dito na lang kami. No, they did not. They didn't say to Moses that, we were gonna go stay here. But they are what? In a hurry to go out of Egypt for freedom. So when they see the Egyptian coming towards them, what happened? Their faith failed. Ring yun. Their faith failed. Ano rin yung faith ni Moses? Nang failed din ba? Medyo. Kasi bakit? He cried out to God. Ano nang gagawin? Kasi they are facing to the Red Sea. They cry out to God. E yung sabi ng Lord, Bakit ka? Why are you cried out to me? Anong hawak ni Moses? Yung staff. And he used that one, what? During the time when he is asking Pharaoh to lead the people out of Egypt. Ano nakalimutan niya na meron pala siyang staff? Tayo minsan, nandyan na sa harap natin ang dapat natin gawin, but sometimes we are so blind to use it. Okay? Anong meron kayo? God give you what? Give us all. We have our five senses that Use it for the glory of God. But sometimes, we forgot that what we need is already in front of us. And Moses forget that he has the stuff to use it for them to go across the Red Sea. So, there was a failure. Remember this, that when, we were, when they are not able to go through Red Sea, wala. Nawala. Fail. Nawala ang faith. See? Tayo minsan, madali tayo makakalimutin. Okay? Bakit? They forgot all the miracles that the Lord has done in Egypt. Nang nakita lang nila ang Egyptian coming towards them, ang dami na nila, nagsisihan na. Ganon tayo. Kasi sabi kasi ni Donny, ganito na eh. Ganon ka agad. Sabi naman to ni Sunday, we, we, we do that. Look at Adam and Eve. Okay? When Adam and Eve eat the fruit of life. What happened? Hinanap sila ni Lord. Ito, nagtatago sila. Doon lang nila na-realize that they are not wearing anything. So they use the leaves. Kaya nagtago. Anong sabi ni Adan? Ni, ni Adam? Ni Adan? Or ni Adam? He said like this. <laughs> He said like this. Where are you? Nagtago sila. Ang sabi niya, kasi itong babaeng kasi na ito, pinilit ako eh. Siya yung may kasalanan. Sabi naman ni Eve, kasi itong snake kasi. So nagsisisihan. Ganon din yung Israelites. Ganon din tayo in real life. Especially, pag meron tayong trials na hinaharap. We are looking for somebody as a scapegoat. For us to what? To escape this what? Blaming. Eh gusto ko yung ano ni, Dr. ni Pastor Paul, no blaming principles. That whatever is happening, we don't blame anybody. Okay? No blaming principles. But the Israelites are what? Are blaming Moses. Kasi ikaw, dinadala mo pa kami dito eh. So ano nangyari? Okay? That's why Moses cried out to the Lord. Ang sabi ng Lord, meron kang hawak na gagamitin mo for you to be safe. Okay? So what did Moses said? Okay, Moses said in Exodus 10, uh, 14, 10, 15, ito yung sinabi niya, okay? As Pharaoh approached the Israelites, look up and there the Egyptian marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. Nakalimutan nila that the Lord already brought lots of miracles to their life. Nawala kaagad. Maliit lang in short span of time. Then they said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us? O yan, sinasabi kong nagsisisihan. Bringing, bringing, uh, bringing us out of Egypt. Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone and let us serve Egyptian? Pero hindi na sinabi yan. 
Hindi nila sinabi yan. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptian than to die in the desert. Okay. And Moses answered to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptian you see today, you will never see them again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Okay. Pero sabi ng Lord kay Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to what? To move on. What does it mean to say? It means to say that when the Egyptians are coming, that timing is crucial. Ano ang purpose ng Lord? So that everybody will see His glory. Kaya tina timing niya, pero Jesus or God can already move the sea. Pero anong purpose niya? So that the people will remember that He is God and there is no one else above Him. Yan ang purpose niya. Look at that. Okay, sabi ni Moses, stand still. O, di tatayo sila doon. Ano mangyayari? Wala. Di matay sila, naabutan sila. Pero ang sabi ng Lord is, Why are you crying out to me? Let the people move on. Hindi sila po pwede magano doon. Tumigil. Kasi bakit? That is the crucial point. Okay, and the timing is right. So that's why kailangan nilang tumawid. Medyo na, 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 nalito si Moses during that time. Si nalito siya. Okay, kaya tayo minsan, nalilito din tayo eh. Sometimes we make decision na hindi pala angkop. Okay, and when we make decision na hindi angkop, anong mangyayari? Magsisisihan. Yan ang totoo. Pero, wag natin gawin yon Kasi bakit? Sabi ng Lord, binago na tayo. We have a new heart. We have a new life. So, when we have a new heart and a new life, we are transformed. Yan. We are transformed from glory to glory. Okay? Now, okay, kung na-transform na tayo, tumayo ang gising. O tulog lahat, to. Oh. <laughs> so, sabi ko sa iyo eh. Oh. <laughs> okay, just to wake up. Okay, now, so you see, maraming, the Lord has done so many things in our life, but the point is, sometimes we neglect to acknowledge. If you can account the good things that the Lord has done to your life, kulang sa palad. But you count the good things that you do for God, Kulang ba to? Kulang ba to? Wala. Hindi ka to umabot. Okay? So you see, because we cannot outdo God. Okay? Now, what are the lessons learned? Okay? In crossing Red Sea. Okay? Now, lesson learned is that God give us power. In Exodus 14, 15, 16, the Lord says to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift your staff and stretch out your hands over the sea and divide it that the people of Israel may go through on dry ground. So you see, sometimes pag nalito tayo, we don't know what to do. Okay? Pero sabi nga ni Moses, stand still. Okay, stand still. So at least, relax ka lang, relax. See, everything we're going to be okay. Luke 10, 19. I have given you the authority to what? To trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power and the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Now, all of us are given power, okay, to overcome whatever trials that comes in our life. The only thing is that you don't know what the power you have. You don't know what power do you have. But you see, we always say that prayer is the greatest power. And we know how to pray. Lahat ba marunong dumagdasal? Of course. We know how to pray. And that one of the greatest power that the Lord is given to us. All we need to do is to use it. Okay? Not because you are in trouble, but use it every day. Okay? A prayer every day, what? Brings you what? Brings good health, brings protection, brings everything to our life. Okay? 
it gives us okay it gives us the freedom because we don't know what tomorrow brings we don't know what tomorrow can do to our life but as long as we have god we know that we are safe we are protected amen amen yes another lesson learned is that god wants us to remember where we come from exodus 14 10 he saved them from the hand of the foe from the hand of the enemy he redeemed them okay israelites medyo may mga may ano sila may amnesia okay bakit madali silang kalimot madali silang kalimot sa ginagawa ng lord ang sabi ng lord is remember where you come from bakit ka nagpapanik na makita mong egyptian okay Hindi, hindi ka ba naniwala that I already did so many miracles, but then still, natakot ka pa rin. Still, wala kang tiwala sa Diyos. Napakalaki ng Diyos natin. At wala tayo, hindi tayo nagtitiwala. Remember this, pag hindi tayo nagtiwala sa Diyos, saan tayo ngayon? You're not here. I'm not going to be here. Because what? We always go astray. But then if we trust God, He always lead us to the right way, to the right path for us to have what? To have a greater life and more blessings. Okay? Huwag natin kalimutan yun. We're in where we come from. Okay? I-recall nyo kung saan, saan tayo nang galing. Iba-iba ang pinanggalingan natin, ano? But then we have the same objective at the end. That what? We serve God. Okay? Iba-iba. Iba. Nakatira ka sa, saan ba, di Polo? Nakatira ako sa, <laughs> I don't know. No, um, the, my point is that we come from different areas. We raise in a different manner. But the thing is, we have the same objective. And that is to serve God. Because if you don't have the objective of serving God, you are not here today. You're not going to serve God. You're not going to spend more time in here than in your place. Kasi bakit? The reason why you spend more time in here because you want to serve God. You want to please God. Okay? Not because you are expecting something in return, but that is only a bonus if there is blessing. That is only a bonus for us. Okay? So therefore, okay, if God do great miracles in the life of the Israelites, He is the same God yesterday and forever. So He could still do the same to us. All we need to do is to ask. Okay? If you re recall John 15, 7, the Lord says, If my words remain in you and you remain in me, ask anything in my name and it shall be given. So you could ask anything from the Lord. Pero meron siyang hinihingi sa'yo. Read His word. Internalize His word. And ask anything and it shall be given to you. Okay? Now, another lesson that we learn is that God wants us to guard our heart. Proverbs 4.23, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Okay. You always guard our heart because, look at, the, look at me. Parang si Pastor, ano lang na, eyes on me. Okay. Eyes on me. Now, the Lord says it's like this. When we accept God as our Savior, we have the law of righteousness in us. And there is also the law of sin in us. Dalawayan. Okay? But if you let the Holy Spirit work in you, the law of sin could be removed. Okay? Kasi bakit? Mangingibabaw siya. And your conscience will always bother you pag meron kayong ginawang mali. It will always bother you. Sometimes nahihiya ka na po mo ng church, nahihiya ka na mapakita sa friend mo. Kasi that is what? The, the you know, the, the shame and guilt nangingibabaw. Okay? But says, but we cannot blame God na we are tempted by God because in James 1, 13 and 14, it says there, let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God for God cannot be tempted with evil and he himself tempt to no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by, ho by his own desire. What? Because the world is a great what? A great salesman, a great enticer, a great appetizer for all of us. Now, if we let the world swallow us, the tendency, you're going to be what? You're going to be died in sin. 
eh, you already accept God as your Savior. Bakit ka babalik? Okay? That's why the Lord says, guard your heart. Guard your heart always. That you're not going to be tempted to go back to being a sinner. Okay? Pharaoh's heart was hardened by God. Okay? Because what? He was not able to guard his heart. That's why he wants to let the Israelites back to Egypt. E tayo din. Dapat we always guard our hearts so that in everything that we do, it is approved by the Lord. Okay? Now, the last but not the least lesson learned is that God wants us to remember that this, there is no turning back. Okay? Huwag natin lagi, alam mo nang, nang nandun kami nakatira, ganito siya. Nang nandun, nang nandun kami, ganito. No. There is no turning back. The reason why you are here today, because that is your process of transformation. Okay? You cannot what? You cannot turn back the clock. But you have to go forward. Okay? If the Israelites to go back to Israel, anong buhay nila? Still the same. Much more worse. Okay? So, Luke 9, 6 says, Jesus says, no one who puts a hand to the plow and look back is, is fit for service in the kingdom of God. What does it mean to say that? You know, whatever that is happened, we cannot turn back, we cannot turn the clock. It's done and it's done. Okay? We cannot change what's in the past. But we could change for the better in the forthcoming days, in the future, or at present. Bakit? God give us a chance to change, to transform. God give us a chance to have a new life. So use it mightily in His glory. Huwag nating hayaan. Kasi kung babalik ka ulit at babalik ka, babalik ka rin sa dati mong attitude, babalik ka rin sa dati mong ginagawa. Wala. You cannot go through the Red Sea. Kasi bakit ikot ka ng ikot, hindi yun nagbabago. So the Lord says, there is no turning back. But the point is, we need to go forward. That's why when going forward across the Red Sea, that is the victory. That is freedom. So let that freedom in us use it in serving God. Because God makes us fit in serving Him. Okay? So, by serving Him, we, what? We are given new life. So, follow what the Lord wants us to do. Okay? Now, as I conclude, okay, Galatians 5.1 It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. We need to stand firm and then do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Do not let yourself go back to your old ways. Because what? We are already free. So we need to be firm. We need to let the Holy Spirit work in us. Because the freedom that we have in Christ, this is the freedom that for us to live in faith. So let us put our hope, our trust to God and welcome God in our life. Remember this, we are already delivered from the bondage of sin, from the punishment, and the Lord give us a new life. So use it mightily in serving Him because by serving God, walang talo. It is always victory. Okay? Yes, so God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So remember this. I would like to share to you, share ko to kanina. The one Nelson Mandela was saying is like this. He said like, Nelson Mandela says that there is no easy walk to freedom anywhere. And many of us will have to pass through the valley of shadow of death again and again before we reach the mountaintop of our desire. Yan tayo. Minsan, pag nadapa tayo, ayaw natin bumangon. Ayaw natin baguhin. Kaya ano? Nagkakaroon tayo ng the shadow of death again and again. Ibig sabihin noon, nadada pa tayo, nadada pa, nadada pa. Kasi we don't want change. So we are just in, cy in cycle. But then if we go pass through with that, then we could be able to reach the mountaintop of our desire.
okay? So, as I request everyone to so please rise, as we give the reverence to the Lord, in everything that we do, in every struggle that we have, in every trials that we encounter, there is always breakthrough. Do not let the trials come into you and then you did not give any solution because in every problem that we have there is always a solution okay all we need to do is what be still and stand firm on our belief okay because in everything on every trials that breakthrough okay that breakthrough in us it's something that the lord wants us to experience okay oh yes jesus lord thank you for your blessings thank you lord for your presence for tonight oh god lord break yes through, yes hallelujah break through all my doubts yes god remove the doubts in us oh god lord let breakthrough work break in our through, life oh god lord remove the So, Lord, that strength, oh God, Lord, that let the Holy Spirit work in our life, oh God, Lord, to transform us, oh Lord, from glory to glory, oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. And Lord, we know when we do believe, oh God, Lord, that you give us the power, oh God, Lord, you give us the power, oh God, to overcome the works and the wiles of the enemies in our life, oh God, Lord. Lord, and as we continue praising and glorifying your name, oh God, Lord, Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have given to us, oh God, Lord. Right now, oh God, Lord, touch the hand and stretch your hands, oh Lord, to all our friends, oh God, to all our brethren, oh God, especially to the children, oh God, Lord. Let healing be upon healing to them, oh God, Lord, because I know and I do believe, oh God, these are your precious sons and daughters, oh God, Lord. You will never, never leave them nor forsake them, but you always protect them, oh God. Lord, right now, oh God, Lord, touch them, oh God, Lord. Let healing be upon healing to them, oh God. Lord Jesus, yes, Jesus, oh God, Lord. Yes, hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah, My Jesus. Friend, oh, yes, your blessing. Yes, God. You are 
a bride my is not stronger than my satisfied just want to come you my have never be the same that you gave to us, O God, Lord, for us to be able, O Lord, to live freely, O God, for us to enjoy, O God, Lord, your presence, for us to enjoy, O Lord, the freedom that you gave to us, O God, Lord. Lord, as we continue, O Lord, with our travel, O God, Lord, as we continue, O God, Lord, in finding ourselves, O God, Lord, guide us, O God, show us the way, O God, Lord, for us to be able, O Lord, to reach the freedom that you prepare for us, O God, Lord. Lord, as we change our life from glory to glory, O God, Lord, show us the way, O God, Lord, because you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through you, O God. Lord, without you, we cannot do anything, but thank you, Jesus. Thank you for guiding us, O God. Thank you for dying of the cross, O God. Lord, to pay the death, O God, Lord, in full, O God. And now we have, Lord, we have the enjoyment, O God, Lord, to find peace and at the same time, O God, Lord, continue O oh Lord, to guide us, continue to lead us, O oh Lord, to be a great servant to you, O oh God, Lord. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for all the blessings that you have given to us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for being there for us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your protection and most of all, O oh God, Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the answered prayer, O oh God, of all the prayers of our brethren, O oh God. I don't know what it is, O oh God, Lord, but I know that I do believe, O oh God, we claim, O oh God, that is already answered, O oh God. We claim the victory, O oh God, Lord, that all the prayers, O oh God, will be answered answered and it is already answered oh god lord thank you jesus for the timing thank you oh lord for being there for us oh god lord as we end this year and uh, this month theme oh god lord lord let us enjoy the freedom that you have given to us oh god lord we just thank you jesus we bless you we glorify your name oh god in jesus name we pray amen and amen